Excellencies, friends, uh, you are all most welcome. I, I was just testing that to see could they hear me at the back of the house, and I think you can. Sabine and I are absolutely delighted to see you all here this afternoon, and I know you have been enjoying the music outside, and I'm delighted that you have had an opportunity of seeing the gardens. We had been worried earlier today about the weather. I'm particularly glad to be able to welcome what I call uh, the shape of the new Ireland. What is happening in Ireland is that a tapestry is being created, and you are making such an important contribution to that. Ireland is not woven from any one thread or any one cloth, but it now has all of these different cultures. Cultures at home, for example, that we may have not given sufficient recognition to. I'm very, very pleased that the people are here from Harvey, pointing from the Roma community and others. And I won't start listing because you'll all then immediately say he didn't mention me. I know all of you because I've been watching you all over the year and all of you I see Branford, that will remind me about if you, if you like sport against racism and so on. What we all have in common is that we are in favour of diversity. We all, in addition to that, see the richness in each other. And Sabina and I are so pleased not only to welcome representatives of communities, and this year Sabina suggested you wanted to, you could come in the dress of your, of your people, well, we have people here from Brazil to India, from Bolt to Nigeria, but even more importantly, too, we have representatives of organisations who are working to sustain that diversity, build it into Irish consciousness, and who are doing such great work. That's why we call today's party, the theme of it was multiculturalism, a celebration of the richness that is there in all our cultures. It's very, very interesting to, 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 to know. Uh, you heard me speak in Irish, and I do a lot this particular year. Our language is 5,000 years old. And whenever I was in Africa, I asked a woman from Mali the other day, how many language was spoken in your country? I hope you take this big opportunity to tell each other your stories, because it is very, very, very important. Uh, the, the, the old one, I think, in Ireland was Tarangian Scale Scale Ellen. One story draws out another story. And another one was, in fact, being Shulok Shkerak, Travellers Have Tales to Tell. That was one of the things I wanted to say in particular this year, is that where we are now in Ireland and the rest of it is, you must tell the stories of, that have been inherited from your others and other generations so that we can place all the stories side by side with each other. That's the meaning what I was speaking in Northern Ireland two days ago about the narrative of hospitality, a hospitality of narratives, one story alongside another. I think that there's a great historical tradition in our island, for example, of respect for travellers. And they used to have great stories. The Shama Key, for example, and the Shana Kiha. But a very interesting thing in Ireland when I was young in, in County Clare, I, I won't go to tell you exactly how long ago it was, but it was very interesting that uh, when a woman would come by and she had been in the village and people would say, have you any news? No, nothing. Oh, you're no good, she would say to that. It is very important for people to have stories and to share them. And in our ever-shrinking world, I would try to put the stamp of humanity on things and that in, in circumstances where many things have gone out of control. This is what we have, our human relationships with each other, and that's why you all are here from four corners of the world in the President's Garden Party. And as President of Ireland, I want to say to you, I know what a privilege it was for Spain and I and other Presidents of Ireland to be welcome to your countries, to be welcome, in my own case, to many of your zones of conflict, and to hear of your stories. And from that I have, which I will never forget, the many stories of courage that are there, the necessary resilience, the prospects that people have. Are they conscious, for example, that on this planet at the moment there are 60 million displaced people? 
and the average amount of time a person is displaced is about 17 years. We have to take all of that into us, and we have also say as well that I want to wish you well here in Ireland. I hope that you get every assistance, but also you must as well uh, try to understand us as people ourselves who sent our people so much all around on, on the world. I don't ever minimise the difficulties that people have. It's not easy learning a new language. And in many cases, what was most interesting to me when I was down in the gate the other day was to see a young African man speaking both Irish and English and also playing football, but he was on the losing team. <laughs> just narrowly, but they were playing against Tony Gold. I think that I want to say a thank you especially. As I travel around the country and I go to schools, often with up to 40 nationalities, I want to thank from the depths of my heart the teachers, the pupils, the boards of management and others who have enabled all the children who are going through our primary and secondary school system to be, to be, to be welcomed here in Ireland. As it should always be, us, a migrant pro-nation welcoming other people. And Ireland's multicultural communities are already richer. I think that what's very, very interesting, as I said, the next stage, though, is not a question of just saying that you're here. We want to hear uh, the stories that you have. We want to hear the full riches of all that you have to bring and that you are placing, as we would say in Irish, on the cordon, or that is that mound of our shared identity. It's happening and we're looking and everything, I, by the way, Brian can tell you there, uh, it, the sport is improving. We could have done with an injection, actually. Uh, but in all of the different sports, in literature, theatre, television, in every aspect of Irish life, new friendships are being made, and they are very, very, very welcome. Also, as I said, I don't seek to avoid anything. If any of you have experienced, and I know that some of you have, and not only those who have come to Ireland recently, but those who are from very old and ancient communities within Ireland. If you have experienced prejudice, stereotyping, or any artificial barriers, most usually based on ignorance, I offer you as President of Ireland my apology for that, my understanding and solidarity with you in undoing it, and it is my hope that you'll take bridges over to The truth is, whether we are at home or abroad, we use words like democracy. A democracy is best tested on how its citizens relate to someone who is called a stranger within the community, and the stranger who arrives often in anticipation of their hospitality. And what a terrible renunciation of la humanidad it is when that hospitality is not an offer. There's no doubt that here in Ireland in the future, we will be judged by the reference to how our policies and our practices responded to the plight of those who sought refuge here or who came here. We will be judged on how we treat and make judgments on those who present themselves at our borders as strangers, strangers in trouble, strangers in difficulty, and how we responded to their stories as they sought our protection and on the respect we afford to them in the legal and administrative processes we oversee. Remember, everything in administration is done in our name, so it must reflect us, the atmosphere that we've here this afternoon. Did we do so, it will be asked, with empathy and compassion? Did we offer people justice? Not just the justice that was demanded from us, but the justice that it is right to offer. There are shocked in the news, Tom, with the swing of Erente Gaelicus, a windle brihra agas la fish, come all a higher than slibrine de Sashediog. Ke blino hin lagna nini redder son sirshin a tirisha, a mark, a nul vinta savarogra, red shid gavet viera craho, and a mere past in a dearer father coke. Hundred years ago, in that great proclamation, the 1916 proclamation, when we refer to all of the children, we're referring to all of the people, and that is what is very important. Our constitution, on paper, asserts the right of each citizen to equality, to dignity, and to freedom. And we are reminded that the true definition of republicanism is about that, participating citizens, 
the right of all citizens to be represented, to have every voice heard, to enable people to reach their full potential, to flourish, not just to live. That's what we are called upon to do, and that's what's happening in those communities where people are generously helping each other in the schools. And we must have a sense of belonging in our new communities. Often I remember myself, half my own family, live, for example, in the neighbouring island of, of Great Britain. There's a sense to belonging. If you want to belong, you don't have to give up where you belonged before. People are people of multiple identities. People will have lots of memories. You have to give way no memories to be able to live responsibly and with a welcome in, in Ireland. I spoke recently to educate together out in North Dublin about all of this and to see all of the people with different belief systems, different sources of different truths. And it is a travesty if any document, sacred or secular, is ever used as a principle of division when people have in fact been trying to discover truth and beauty from multiple systems and they're able to live together in the same schoolroom and may it be like that and a real republic <laughs> is therefore it acknowledges the culture of others we're not in search of culture like some foreign gold or something like that it is in all our people and more than all our sense of humanity we say in Irish our faith rakti, our capacity, and so forth. I wish you well as Berbanat, under some Gothra to make a shulaki to Tawakui. The acceptance of many different cultures and abilities of those who wish to participate in the life and community, that's a great resource. Difference is a resource. Difference is richness. And it is going to be like that. That's the island that is unfolding in front of us, and I welcome it. And Sabina and I this afternoon are so pleased that you have been able to join us at Oris and Uthron. There are some people I should say thank you. We do this exercise now in the summertime for different groups and different themes. This afternoon it's on multicultural Ireland. But it wouldn't be possible without the staff here in the Oris and Uthron who do it. And I get hundreds of letters thanking us for the way that they, 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 they do it. They just don't have culinary skills, you know. Uh, they're, they have good humour as well. Nearly all the time. And I can tell you this much. I get, as I said, hundreds of letters. There's people of all ages for the way that they're being received here. And I, I don't take any of that for granted. None of us do. Because they, do, they will do it right through this summer now here. And I think as well, that's a gift. That's their gift to all of us collectively this afternoon. I want to thank the Civil Defence and I want to thank the Gashka volunteers for their precious help. I want to thank our talented MC this afternoon, Sinead Kennedy, even if she has no money to give away. And I want to thank our fantastic entertainers, Dennis Scully, St. Patrick's Brass Band, Havana Club Trio, Muchas Gracias, the Ruizango family, the Eskies, my dear friend Danny Healy and his group, and it's been a pleasure to hear him play this, this, this evening. His grandfather was somebody who stood for 20 hours so that the first local authority houses could be built in Galway in 1934. He is from a strong, wonderful, egalitarian tradition. So that's what it's all about. Nothing is impossible if we decide to make it possible. And I also want to say then, as well, we have, we're renowned here because they can hear us all over the island because we have a superb person in charge of sound. He's over there, D, and for all his staff and for the Office of Public Works and other side And if I've left anyone out, I'm very sorry, but I'm getting old. <laughs> but then again, they say in the papers, I'm getting younger as it's going on, and then it is. The Ahasarum Grevshiv and Anvi, Yivakas Quinga Rakas Banak, the Gaklan, is Kamakarabashiv, as Erin or Inquiderin, Dum Taki, Agas Nilin Avrasarum, Akamekum Taki Shin, Mastasha Bunna, and the Fium to Shilume, Gameshik and Tariff and Nadinia Gutsha, Berbanak to Skaramila Mahaki.